Let's look at some of the reporting options that are available with MainSmart. I'll begin by going to the downtime analysis screen. This is a listing of all of our downtime. One way we can report on this is by using the OLAP tool. OLAP stands for Online Analytical Processing. This component is available on every single screen in the program. On the analysis and reporting screens, that's these, there'll be a data cube in the lower right corner of the screen. Alternatively, you can access the OLAP from the OLAP menu. In the case where there's a screen that does not have the view menu, the OLAP menu will be found under the options menu. Okay, so let's take a look at the OLAP. All right, so what's happened here is we have a data set in the grid behind our OLAP screen, and that is the data set that OLAP is tapping into. All right, so this screen is quite intuitive. It's all drag and drop. So I could drag the equipment down here as a row. And then I'll go ahead and drag a value field down. We'll pick time down. Okay, so in this case what we have is the time down in minutes by equipment item based upon the date range that was constrained by the data set in the background screen. We can further analyze this. Perhaps we want to look at the line and the equipment. We could drag the equipment back out. We could drag the shift. And as you can see, the data automatically changes each time I drag a field. Additionally, I can drag multiple fields into the value. Now we're looking at time down and repair time for each line based upon the technician shift. This is all totaled by column and by row. What if we want to see the average time down, not the total? The way we would do this is we select time down and we'll notice it says sum. We'll right click on it We'll pick Field Settings, Subtotals, change it to Average. We might also want to change the format of the number. In this case, maybe we'll give it a couple of decimal places. We could display, display high and low values. Any value that say over 10, Absolute. We'll give it a different background color, for example. Okay, I'll say OK to this. And you'll notice all those changes take effect. Now we're looking at the time down average and the sum for repair time. While we're doing all this, the program's also charting it for us. Now I've got the screen squeezed down here pretty good to fit into this video. However, in most cases you'd see a much larger chart. We can change our chart to a different type of chart if we'd like. Change the way it looks. Going back to our data grid, if we right click on one of these values let's say for example this 11.09 the program brings up all of the values that created in this case this time down average for the bread packaging line on technician shift 1 if we right click off of a value field we have the capability of exporting this directly to Excel Let me squeeze this down a little bit. And as you can see, the data immediately gets imported into an Excel spreadsheet where you can perform further analysis on it. 
Okay, so this is our OLAP tool. And I've just covered the high level of this. Uh, we can filter in our field settings. Maybe we only want shifts one and three. Okay, maybe we want the line to be filtered by only lines that have to do with bread, for example. This is a commercial baking operation. We could say where the line name contains the word bread. Now we have a bread. So as you can see, it's a very powerful and flexible reporting tool. You can also save this scenario and then reopen it later. Okay, that's your OLAP tool. The next way to report in Mate Smart is through what we call detail reports. And they'll be found under the file, print menu, report in most cases. I'll go ahead and bring up the top 10 failure causes. Now this is going to be more of a formatted report. In this case we actually have a chart on the report. Here's our data. In this case the report is grouped by what we're calling work area location. And all of this is contained in our main report. So if we want to jump to say for example roll production, we can click right on that item over here in this tree and it'll take us to that data. Additionally, if we want to just print a report on, say for example, roll production, we can double left mouse click right on the word and notice it creates a new report for us with just that data in it. Most of these detailed reports will contain some sort of summary. In this case, the summary is going to be the total downtime minutes and in this case it's by cause and by equipment in that work area. It's going to also show you the most frequent downtime cause by equipment and the second most frequent. Okay, in this case there wasn't any that were more frequent than others apparently. Okay, so that is your detail report. Now these reports can also be exported and exporting refers to either emailing, printing to one or more printers, or saving in any number of different file formats. These file formats could be Adobe Acrobat or any of these other formats which include a web page, Excel, Microsoft Word, and so on. Very flexible. In most cases in the program, when you're printing either a preventive maintenance task list or a work order, it's going to come out as one of these detail reports. This is actually a component we leverage called Crystal Reports, which is a very popular data reporting engine. So let's go ahead and print one more. I'm going to go to the work order screen. I'm going to select a row in the work order screen. That makes it the active work order. I'm going to right click on it and pick print preview selected work order. Alternatively I could have gone to file print report assign current selected work order. Once again we get the detail report. In this case it is with a work order. Okay we have other ways of reporting. Every screen in the program will export data directly to Excel. In this case, I'm going to go to the inventory screen, and we're looking at our raw inventory. File, save, and then I'll choose the save as type to be Excel. When I click save, MateSmart converts the data and imports it directly into Excel. This applies to every single screen on the entire program. Yet another way to report in MateSmart. Again, the file, save, 
But in this case, instead of picking Excel, I can pick from a different format. Notice I have four more formats. I'm going to go with HTML. This is going to create a web page of the data that's in the data grid. Why would I want a web page? Well, consider a situation where you want to share data from the MateSmart program with someone who doesn't have the MateSmart program and doesn't have Microsoft Office or any way to access an Excel spreadsheet. Everyone has a web browser. So if we export it to a web page, it'll always be available to everyone. And that was one of our goals in designing the program, to make sure that the data was always available and easily analyzed and manipulated. That pretty much covers all the reporting methods in the software. As you can see, it's quite flexible in reporting. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us for a free demonstration. Thank you for watching.